everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Courtney. I want to show you some some secrets how to train a, a dog. <laughs> um so let's get started. This is my my dog Bruno. He has absolutely no manners on the leash yet. We're going to fix that today. Walking who? Is your dog pulling you? I'm going to fix that. What we call this is called a walk and turn. You want your dog to walk next to you instead of in front of you. If your dog is pulling you, you should shouldn't let your dog pull you. You. Do you have a dog that that pulls? I'm going to show, show you something that I learned. It's called the walk and turn. Okay, come. This is what we're going to do a bunch of times just so he gets the, the thing about going and We're doing the walk and turn is because we're teaching our Belgian mama how to not be in front of us, to be next to us. Just so Bruno stays next to me, like this. And he's doing pretty good. Okay, so it's been about a week since Courtney first started um, working with Bruno on his pulling. And I want to re reiterate a few of the topics and a few of the things that she was talking about. Bruno, sit. Bruno, sit. So Courtney calls it the walk and turn. So if your dog's pulling you a lot and wants to run ahead, if you have a new dog or if you have an older dog, it's no time like the present. That's it. It's no time like the present to start training. Now Bruno's going to be a field working dog. So we haven't started doing a whole lot of healing with him because I want him to be very confident way out in front of us searching for things. And so if you um, keep that dog close to you when he's a puppy, it's going to be pretty hard to get him to, to go on ahead. So he's used to searching and now what we're doing since he's nine months old is we're starting to work on the healing technique. So basically it's just um, if this dog gets ahead of you you can give him a slight correction, but you want to just make a turn like this. He's doing very well. Come. Courtney's walk and turn. Come. And so you saw how much he was pulling before. The other thing we can do, Courtney, I mean, ha, ha, ha. Bruno, sit. Bruno, sit. The other thing we can do is we can, um, he didn't even get that piece of food. He just got to lick it. So come on. So if you're having trouble getting your dog to stay real close to you and uh, you need to keep his attention, I just have food in my hand. He just knows it's there. And we can get him to turn.
gets a nice reward. So the walk and turn. You want to start in your house. If your dog's getting crazy when it's time for the walk, you're going to pick the leash up. And if he goes nuts, put the leash back down. And you can do that 10 times, 20 times. If you've got a crazy dog, you may have to do it 100 times. But you want to wait for that dog to stay calm. The next thing you're going to do is put the leash on the dog. And if the dog's pulling you towards the front of the, the, the um, front door, again, turn, walk away from the front door, and go back until your dog learns that this is a routine. I'm following you. You're not going to follow me. So we want to make sure the dog just realizes that wherever we do, he's got to follow us. So don't go outside until your dog is walking pretty calm and not challenging the front door. Then you can go out the front door, you're going to go first, and then do this in the front yard for a while, maybe a day or two, where there's really no distractions. And so later this week, we're going to head downtown where there's a lot more distractions and a lot more people and uh, work on his, his technique. So the walk and turn is what Courtney calls it. As you can see, the leash is dropped. Come. I got no food. Yes, sick. Yes, good boy. And always remember, lots and lots of praise. Right? Good boy. And then the last thing is you have to have a release. And for me, it's yes, good boy, yes. And that lets him know it's time to bite things again, all right? Ah, ah. But again, if you have him all worked up, you gotta make sure that you can stop. Oh, that's it. We can calm that behavior right down, yes. So, one more thing we have we're working on is come behind, where he'll stop right here. Sit. Yes. So, don't forget, hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. And if you have some dog training questions, talk to Courtney and I. We'd love to help you, okay? Cheers. Peace out from Juneau, Alaska.